Okay, so the customer wants this electric unit heater on a thermostat. Wi-Fi enabled thermostat. So, now this is a 208 volt heater, uh, about 3.3 3 kW, 208 volt. I got to looking around and I found the breaker panel. See so the breaker panel is labeled there, panel LC, and it tells you which circuit it is. So I went and turned it off so I could work on it. 208 volts, so I got a 208 volt transformer and I wired it in to leg one and leg two coming from the breaker. And it's gonna step down 208 to 24 volts. Uh, the 24 volts is gonna get, get sent over to the thermostat. There's three wires going to the thermostat. So you got red and black for power and common coming off of that transformer. And then you've got white coming back from W1 or the heat call. So that heat call goes in. And I've also installed a contactor the contactor breaks power going to the unit. So it's a two pole contactor, one, two. And um, there are two legs of the 208 running in. Um, so two pole con contactor was what I needed. I couldn't use just a regular relay because the amperage was too high. It's pulling almost 16 amps. And uh, the relays I've got only go up to about 15 at 120 volt. So any higher higher voltage, you're gonna drop down to about 10 amp capacity. So any uh, relay that I was gonna be carrying around uh, wouldn't have done the job. All right, so then we ran the wire up over and there was a, there was a header in the ceiling that we couldn't get through. Um, so we ran conduit down the wall. Oh, there were several headers, or there were several several horizontal beams in the wall. A header, and then uh, a little farther down, just a few inches down, there was another horizontal beam. Um, this access pad was put in with conduit, and there was no no other conduit. So we had to run a conduit on the outside of the wall. So here's the diagram for the unit. And I'm adding my transformer to the side of the unit here. And I'm tying in leg one and leg two high side of the transformer to leg one and leg two coming in that 208 coming in after the disconnect switch i'm putting my contactor on leg one and leg two so that the normally open contacts of the contactor will break power going into the unit i'm running power and common from the low side of the transformer out to the thermostat and then coming back from the thermostat, I have W1 that will connect to the coil of the contactor. And I've got common connecting to the other side of the coil of the contactor. So that when the thermostat needs heat, it will call on W. And the contactor will pull in and supply high voltage to the unit.